It happened soon after morning classes had begun at the school. Sodden with rain, undermined by the mountain springs which ran beneath it, the enormous refuse tip from Aberfan's coal mine lost its footing on the steep slopes above the village and a black avalanche slid onto the houses and the school below. When the days of digging were over, the list of the dead had reached 144. 116 of them were children between the ages of 8 and 10. Twenty years later, a visible break in the line of houses at the edge of the village where the school once stood still betrays the path of the man-made landslide. And a few hundred yards away, in the village cemetery, the children who died lie beneath a line of identical stone arches. For many children of Abavan, born long afterwards, caring for the graves is a regular event in their lives. The 20th anniversary of the disaster is something the villagers themselves do not seek to commemorate. They remember it at a chapel service every year. They tend the graves of the children who never grew up with as much care every week. Tragedy and death on a large scale is part of the history of the South Wales coal fields, but no pit disaster invoked as much grief as the dreadful accident, part natural, part man-made, which buried a school and its pupils in a matter of minutes. The sheer scale of that tragedy broke Aberfan's heart. 